Hello, 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 hello. Hmm. I wonder how many of this one is right here. Hello, hello. Hold on, I'm a bit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Very sensitive. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hello, Mikai, how are you? <laughs> First one. Now. Maybe buffering siya.
Ikaw, wait lang natin yung iba. Ayan, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Kawai-kawai tayo. Hi, Mitch. Hello, Mikai. Tayo lang natin sila, Mavi at saka si Mami Nikki. Ang harsh ng light. Hindi ko siya madim. Super harsh. Super harsh. Anyway, parang washed out yung mukha ko. Hello, Mavi. <clears throat> okay, so, let's start. Guys, magtanungan muna tayo. Uh, huh. Okay. Um, ano-ano social media yung mga ginagamit niyo? I mean, social media accounts. Like YouTube, uh, well, except not in YouTube. Like Facebook, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Any any more? Any any more social media accounts? Ang ginagamit niyo? F bilang. Si Mitch F bilang. Ikaw Marvi and Mikai. <coughs> what are the other accounts? F B I G and Twitter. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, sino sa inyo ang merong FB page? Or FB profile nyo lang ang ginagamit nyo? <coughs> Okay. Tapos si Mavi. Okay, great. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Pag meron kayong bagong vlog, may meron kayong bagong video, Paano niyo siya dinidistribute? Like, paano niyo pinupost yung mga um, bago niyong mga videos?
Hinaabot lang, okay? <laughs> okay guys, sino sa inyong tatlo, okay, nakausap ko ngayon, ang merong negosyo? Maliban kay Mavi, I know meron silang photography service na business. Si Mitch wala, Mikay. Wale. Si Mitch, alam ka. Okay. Ganito. Last week, okay. Last week, I've talked about Was it last week? No. A week prior to that yata. I've talked about personal branding. Personal branding is like, ikaw, binibenta mo yung sarili mo. Okay? So, basically, bakit ka ba nag-YouTube? Okay? So, ang, excuse me, ang, ang conception, ang, ang, ang misconception kasi ng YouTuber or ng vlogger is, um, ang, ang aim nila lagi is yung, And eh, going to the target eh. Boom! Maging monetize ang channel mo. Tama? Pero usually, well, yeah, tama. Kasi, hindi ka naman mag-YouTube kung wala kang, kung wala kang kikitain eh. Diba? You're, you're not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna believe you. Kung sasabihin mo sa akin, wala, I'm doing it for fun. Okay. Siguro, <laughs> 80% of the time, ang target mo is gawin mong main money-making mo ang YouTube. Okay, ang pagiging vlogger. Okay. 20% of that is just for the heck of you're having fun. Okay. Meron iba kasi, um, they're just using YouTube. Wala lang. It's, it's, it's really their thing. Like, gusto lang nilang may entertain yung ibang tao and all. It's it, But, With, with all of this um, other old YouTubers, na nakikita nyo nga yung growth nila, yung growth nila monetarily and so on and so forth. So, naiingan nyo lahat ng tao. Ako, personally, for one, meron lang ako naging advocacy why, why I went to YouTubing. Plus, uh, uh, meron din ako, ano, uh, it, yeah, exactly. It, it, would, it would hurt. We are going to talk about that. Anyway, Before I get into the the main topic, gusto ko lang gusto ko lang din meron kayong bagay na maintindihan because once I open the door for the 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 other avenues where you can promote your channels, you have to be ready. Okay, there are quite a number of things that you have to be ready. There are a lot of people out there who are going to hurt you, and you have to be ready on that. Yun lang naman yung main thing. Eh. Hurt you in in the sense na they're gonna comment either on your page. Okay. Exactly. Which is which is really good. Nakikita naman yan, Mitch. Eh. Pag nakikita mo yung tao. Alam mo, share ko lang sa inyo. Alam mo ba kung gano, kung, kung paano mo nakikita sa tao na what they're doing is they love it. Pag hindi sila nag-over, ano eh, may mga tao kasi na halos i-shove it off na sa loob ng bibig mo na, oh, kainin mo yan, kainin mo yan. Parang ganun. Parang ang dating is, Uh, panoorin mo, parang awo mo na, yan. Yung mga ganyan, they're just after dun sa mga um, views, subs, pero yung creative side noon, wala sa kanila yun. For them, pag gano'n ng tao, alam mo, ang aim lang noon is magkaroon ng pera. Kasi the, the more na meron siyang views, the more siya magkakaroon ng opportunity to make money, Right? or subscriptions which is by the way marami na ngayong marami na ngayong magagaling na advertisers even YouTube themselves okay kaya it took them some time before ka na monetize one lahat ng naging comments mo over YouTube titingnan nila yon and sub for sub na comment sa YouTube pag nakita nila yon It's either, lalong tatagal, before na monetize ang 
channel mo or tatanggalin nila yung channel mo. So, sayang, di ba? Um, what are the other things? Ayun. Um, while baby pa ang channel nyo, one of the number one thing na na-overlook, okay, na-overlook ng every YouTuber is identity. Nawawala ng identity ang isang YouTuber. Maraming YouTuber na or vloggers na copycat. Na meron silang sinusundan ng mga vloggers. Okay? And then, dahil malaki yung channel, okay, malaki yung subscriber, maraming views yung channel nung, nung vlogger na yon, they tend to copycat. Okay? So, over time, mababrand ka as copycat. Parang nakatatak na yun sa tao na, ah, ginaya lang yan si Kong TV, ah, ginaya lang yan si Will Dasovich, ah, ginaya lang yan si, si ganito at si ganyan. Only because they're, they're big. Tanungin ko kayo, even right now, check niyo yung channel ni Daniel Marsh at saka ni Will Dasovich. I'm not, you know, hindi ko sila pinag-aaway, ah. Pero tingnan nyo lang. Tingnan nyo yung maigi. Diba? Si Will Dasovich... I'm not really sure how sino sa kanila yung nauna ni ni Daniel Marsh. Pero for me, okay, technically kung titingnan ko yung gawa nilang dalawa, I would love to watch Daniel Marsh over and over again because he has his own identity. Okay. Nag-create siya ng sarili niyang identity, nag-create siya ng sarili niyang brand for himself. Okay. When it comes to this, dun sa mga go, dun sa mga techniques niya, sa mga ways niya, it's a very you know, Daniel Marsh which is opposite kay um, what you call this, kay Will Dasovich okay, now sino ang laging ginagaya ng tao, lalo lalo na mga Pilipino, okay si Kong TV yung mga hyper Uh, you know, yung pagiging hyper niya, yung mga pagmumura niya, yung mga tawag dito, mga catchphrase niya, ginagaya ng maraming tao. Do you really think it would help you as a vlogger? Of course not. Everybody will just gonna say, tang ina mo, ginaya mo lang si Kong TV or something like that. Sorry for the word, but yes. I am sure na maraming nagsasabi nun. Okay. Kong TV it's beca- is becoming an institution because people are, you know, copying him. Okay. So, even before we talk about the power of social media, you have to shape up, okay, your personal branding. When I say pres- personal branding, you have to show how unique you are as a person and it should, you know, transcend all throughout sa Facebook online. Okay before mo start gamitin yung social media to share your videos, to talk about yourself, to talk about, well, basically, it's just to talk about yourself that you're talking about your channel. Tama? Tama, hindi. Tama. Okay. So, one, let's talk about Facebook. Sa Facebook, guys, hindi nyo ba alam na meron din tinatawag na hashtag ang Facebook? And, It's it's nice to have your own um, page. Yes. Kasi as, as your channel grows, so as your page. And I don't think you would want people to get into your personal profile. Okay? Tandaan nyo guys, yung mundo ng social media, starting from, starting from YouTube, down to Instagram. Maraming masasamang elemento dyan. People will just gonna come to you and then, you know, offer this, that, and those, may kipag-friendship and all this stuff. This is something that you have to look after. Okay? May mga krimen na nangyayari which is, one, it's either exposed out there na nagiging kwento. Um, I'm gonna give you one good example. Casey Neistat. You can check him out. Um, Just a few back, I mean, a few days back, may nagpunta sa office niya and ayaw umalis. It's a fan, you know, and it scares the hell out of him. Bakit? Kasi the fan can either kill him or do something really bad. 
Kasi for Casey, he was doing it because for the love of filmmaking. Hindi niya alam na aabot siya sa ganun katindi. Diba? So, having having your own Facebook page will secure you enough para hindi masyado ma-penetrate yung sarili mong personal profile wherein it could be used in a wrong way. Diba? So, yun. So, from your Facebook ano, Facebook page, doon mo isi-share lahat. I-upload mo lahat ng videos mo, i-upload mo lahat ng kung anong meron ka. Then you can start inviting people and all. You can share it. Maraming, nang, maraming gumagawa niyan. Okay. I, I for one, I do it. And doon ko na doon ko na si-secure yung mga informations na meron ako <clears throat> with my personal. Actually, meron akong dalawang Facebook page. Uh, f- Facebook account. One is really personal and one is yung ginagamit ko f- for my business for meeting new people and stuff like that. So, once na nag-upload ka sa YouTube, okay, make something na, I mean, pag nag-edit ka, make something that is good for Facebook as well. Okay? Make something as well na mas ma, na magagamit mo siya sa Instagram. So, pag nag-upload ka, laging para sa tatlo. Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Sa Instagram naman, one minute lang. It's more like a trailer. Diba? Then, to view more, follow the link sa bio. That is for Instagram. Diba? Then, use the power of hashtag. Later on, we're going to talk about how to use the power of hashtag, how to use the power of trending words, at saka paano mo makoconvert yun sa viewing public. Diba? So, that's Facebook. <clears throat> Plus, so Facebook naman, usually, don't forget, they, whatever you use as a hashtag sa, or tag, hashtag, you can use it across. Yung tag ng videos mo, you can use it with Facebook as well as with Instagram. Okay, so ma-identify ka as ikaw yon. Then you have to use a particular tag na, you know, It's about you. Ano sa tingin niyo yun? Ano sa tingin niyo yung, yan, yung particular na tag na yun na, da, na dapat mong laging ginagamit for yourself? At lagi mo dapat, you know, sinishare yun sa tatlong um, tag dito, platform. I'll help you out. Channel name. So, yung channel name nyo, lagi siyang hashtag. Exactly. Tama si Mavi. Yeah. Account name. Channel name nyo. Okay. Tapos, meron tayong mga um, social media platform na hindi masyadong kinagamit. So, later on, we're gonna talk about that. For now, let's jump into Instagram. Alam niyo ba guys, actually si Kay ang pinakamagandang mag-discuss nito sa inyo because she grew from her YouTube account through her Instagram. However, her Instagram account is like bigger. <laughs> I think she has more than 14,000 now. So, alam niyo po ba na sa Instagram napakadaling mag-grow. Bakit? As simple as engagement as simple as the use of hashtags say for example uh, si Mavi meron silang wedding photography uh, and videography business so since they're into this it would be very easy for them like ano ang target niche uh, target area mo okay kasi more on sa events sila and wedding eh. what they can do is they can they can use the the, the hashtag wedding then location like halimbawa Manila Makati uh Quezon City, and all this stuff. Then, at the same time, pwede silang maipag-link sa mga event planners, event coordinators, event companies. All they have to do is, you know, comment, like, and definitely, definitely, I'm 100% sure, and it works for me very well. Now, if you drop a link, or if you don't drop a link, by the way, okay, 
Because if you drop a link, what will gonna happen is you are just, you know, pushing people away from you. Guys, it's all about the person. It's not all about you. So meaning, pag nag-comment ka, it's all about what you see on their photos and their photos and their photos. In short, bigay ka lang ng bigay. Bigay ka ng bigay, bigay ka ng bigay. Bigay ka ng bigay ng comment, bigay ka ng bigay ng likes. Then eventually, they're gonna visit you. When they visit you, Okay, especially sa mga brands, especially sa mga companies, especially sa mga malalaking event companies din. Ang tendency is that, wow, I have a follower. Then pag nakita nila that you're into something, eventually, yung tinanim mo, kakalike mo sa kanila at kakakomment mo, they're gonna like you back and they're gonna comment and they're gonna hire you. Okay, so that's basically the, equa- uh, the equation there. Then, Pag napalaan mo na yung viewing, ano mo, the next thing that will gonna happen is, you can either, you know, drop them a DM, direct message, tell them about your business, or tell about, no, it's not, tell, don't tell them about your business. It's tell them how you can work with them. Tell them how you can do something for them. Again, it's all about them. Diba? So, Sasabi mo sa kanila, I'll gonna, uh, well, let's just use Mavi for, for an example. Wedding photographer ako. Tapos, hashtag engaged. Okay. To be, meron kang mga ano yun, ay, ang ganda mo, ay, ang ganda-ganda ng shots mo, ang ganda-ganda ng ganda, blah, blah, ang sweet nyo naman ganyan, blah, 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 blah. Then, um, pwede kang mag-shoot ng link mo sa DM nila. Hi, I'm, I'm Mabby from ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And um, just in case in the future, you would like to to go on for an engagement photo shoot or pre-na, uh, pre-na photo shoot or on your wedding day and all this blah, blah, blah. We, we have this kind of shots that you can, you know, you can use or pwede rin na kami na yung maging photographer mo. We're gonna give you a very good, you know, um deal diba so and ini hindi ka nag hard sell nagsa soft sell ka at the same time you're giving the person an idea that you know you are more more than willing to assist them and help them what are what are the things that you would like to share eventually ang end ang end up niya ang conversation niyan is they're gonna hire you okay so ikaw naman as a vlogger Okay, you go on a YouTube, say for example, uh, travel vlogger ka, or beauty vlogger ka, or whatever vlogger ka. So, hanapin mo yung niche mo. Kung travel vlogger ka, you follow other travel vloggers. Wrong. Hindi travel vloggers ang susundan mo. Ang susundan mo, mga hotels, mga resorts. Okay, then you're going to talk about what you do. Okay, because eventually kaka-like mo, kaka-comment mo, babalik sila sa channel mo. Pag bumalik sila sa, sa account mo, rather, pag balik nila sa account mo, nakikita, ah, travel vlogger pala to, ah, beauty vlogger pala to. Tapos, pag nakikita mo, kasi nakikita mo naman yung activity nun eh. Diba? If they went, <coughs> nag-like, and nag-comment, and all this blah, 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 nag-follow blah, nakikita mo. So, babalik sila sa'yo, pag balik nila sa'yo, makikita nila yung mga ginagawa mo. Pag naitan nila yung ginagawa mo, so, babalikan mo naman sila ngayon. Pag binalikan mo sila, DM ka na ngayon. Hi, blah, blah, blah. I say, say, for example, I'm Mitch. I, I do travel vlogging, you know, and you might want to do um, some events and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and I'm more than happy to cover and talk about it on my channel. So, pag, bumalik, pag binalikan ka nila, okay, pag binalikan nila ikaw, then, yeah. pag tinanong nila, how can we work uh, on a particular project. Either sabi mo, um, give me a free stay, give me a, um, bo- uh, fly me going there, and so on and so forth. Diba? So, ang anong, end- ang anong ending mo? You nail, a, uh, you nail a deal of a lifetime. So, libre na stay mo, may pagkain ka na, may pa hotel ka pa, may pa resort ka pa, may pa tour ka. In short, you save yourself a huge amount of money. Hindi ka man nila binayaran. Okay? Say, for example, hindi ka nila binayaran, pero they gave you a tons of perks okay, to cover their um, event. Eventually, pag nag- naging portfolio mo na yun as a vlogger, so, masusustain mo na yung sarili mo. Karamihan ng travel vloggers dyan nagsimula. 
Okay. Even Sam Calder himself. Puro ex din. O oh, sige, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly all my friends. Okay. Papunta dyan. And we're going. Um, we're going to do this and that and those for you. Then. Kapalit nun. I'm going to give you. Um, tag dito. Uh, a film. That is all about your hotel. All about your. You know. In lugar nyo. And stuff like that. So eventually. Yung, yung video na na-produce mo, ilalagay nila yon sa account nila. At yung account nila, maraming clients. Then from that clients, they are going to share the videos that you make. So one way or another, darating yung point na pag ikaw na yung kinontak ng isang resort, then you can ask for payment for talent fee. Sige, we're going to fly you here and that blah, 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 blah. Same, same, agenda but this time you have to pay me diba so anyway it's it's getting the right account to the i mean getting yourself with that account to the right people that will bring you further okay hindi lang kung sino sino like kung sino motel lang yung yeah approach more kung sino resort lang na puchu puchu it's not about the puchu puchu itself kahit hindi kagandahan yung resort as long as pinupuntahan ng tao. Diba? Titingnan mo through, through um, mga tools na meron ka, which is i-share ko sa inyo guys pamaya, dun mo makikita kung gano'ng karaming tao dun ka rin pupunta. You're gonna flock. It's, a, it's not about kung 5-star hotel yan or 7-star or 1-star hotel. Kung yan pinupunta ng tao at kinaagat yan ng tao, then you are going to take over. You know, yung, alam nyo guys, maraming digital nomad because of this. Okay? So, in, in, in yung pinakamadali at pinakamagandang nagagawa ng Instagram. Okay? With Twitter naman, hmm, honestly, maganda lang sa si Twitter is impressions. Free impressions. So, pag nag-post ka doon, Okay. This is what this is what I noticed and this is what I can share with you. Pag halimbawa nag-post ka ng link mo. Lagi mong ipo-post kasama is photo. Kasi ang photo pag nakita 'yan, doon lang 'yan ipo-post. I, I mean, yun doon lang i-i-click lang yung um link mo. Otherwise, i-post mo yung part ng trailer ng video mo plus the link and then ano yung description plus the power of hashtag of course again you have to use the right hashtag um if it's about travel you can you can add hashtag of the famous you know um tag dito mga travel vloggers but again it's a clickbait but it can help eventually hindi 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 ka naman sasabihin na hindi ka naman sasabihin na tao na hindi ba say for example say ba mga famous travel vloggers excuse me um or say for example na lang yung mga kasi yung mga kakilala ko is yung mga tawag dito mga photographers na vlogger like Peter McKinnon hashtag Peter McKinnon um gumawa ka ng uh, right now as an example pa B-roll challenge si Peter McKinnon. Ngayon, gumawa ng B-roll challenge niya, nilagay mo sa face, uh, sa Twitter account mo, you post it with a photo or with a vid, uh, part of the video and the link and then hashtag Peter McKinnon uh, hashtag um, B-roll challenge hashtag. So eventually, people will come and view your channel. Definitely. Diba? So, you can try doing that. Pero, Eventually, pag natandaan ka ng mga tao, ah, ito, ginagamit lang na ito yung mga ano, name ng mga famous people. So, you can use it once in a while, but you cannot use it every now and then, di ba? At saka, with Twitter, it can go as far as that lang. It has its own analytics. It will just gonna show you the impressions and stuff like that, how far it will go. But the thing is, it should be, you know, it should invite people to be viewing your channel. Okay, at the same time to subscribe on uh, on your um, Twitter account or follow you. 
Ang mahirap lang kasi sa Twitter is you have to always stay relevant. Ang maganda lang sa Twitter is that tuwing merong trending, okay, pwede mong gamitin yun. Which is, by the way, it will gonna help you when it comes to trending. Pagka lagi may trending, yung mga trending doon, gawin niyo hashtag. So, you will stay relevant. Just make sure na what you're talking about is very relevant sa kung ano trending. Okay? Yun lang, yun lang ang um, kinaibahan ni Twitter. Kasi nakikita mo kung ano trending. Ako, ang ginagamit ko kasi ngayon is ang pinafollow ko is yung worldwide. So, kung trending worldwide, nakikita ko. Ang maganda lang sa inyo, kung Philippines lang, makikita nyo lahat ng trending doon. So, people will gonna, you know, it will gonna easily follow you pagdating sa ganyan. But just make sure you stay relevant doon sa mga trending ngayon. Kung hindi kayo fan ng Aldab, then uh, it's, not a, it's, it's not a thing. Otherwise, kasi alam nyo mga Pilipino. Ito ang maganda sa Pilipino. It's na napapansin ko. Ang Pilipino, pag finalo ka, magko-comment yan. Pag nag-comment yan at hindi nila gusto, kung anong sinasabi mo, ibabash ka nila. Okay? Yan ang mga Pinoy. They're, they are die-hard followers and die-hard, you know, bashers. Maniwala kayo. It, it is true. Tanongin ko kayo, sige nga, bakit yung mga malalaking names ngayon, pagdating sa YouTube is mga half Filipinos. Pag dinala mo yan sa US, yeah. <laughs> Pag dinala mo sila sa sa US, uh, sa country kung saan sila, do you really think they're gonna grow that big as much as they are sa Philippines? Of course not. So, yun yung, yun yung bagay na sobra kong kinalulungkot. Eh. I mean, there are only very few pure Filipinos na I mean, yun, nag-grow. Alam mo kung bakit? Because 80% ng mga Filipino vloggers, that they only aim for the money. And they don't aim for the creativity side of being a vlogger, or YouTuber, or even as a story, uh, storyteller. And then, ang pinaka nakakatawa sa lahat na yan, ah, which is, eto guys, this is very true. Vlogger ka, ipopromote mo yung sarili mo sa vlogger din. Yung vlogger na yun, would go and aim for views and subs. So, bakit mo, parang ganito yan eh, nasa, ano ba, tayong apat, ikaw, Mikay, Mavi, at saka Mitch, tayong apat. Okay. Sa ating apat, pare-pareho na tayong vlogger eh. Kung, kung igagawin natin, ano to, uh, tindahan, apat tayong sari-sari store, tapos nasa isang village tayo, tapos magkakatabi lang tayo, sa so, tingin nyo ba, mag-grow tayo pare-pareho? Hindi, di ba? So, ano gagawin natin? We have to promote our our videos, our vlogs sa mga hindi vlogger. Okay? Bakit? Kasi sila ang magkakaroon ng interest to view us. Dahil ako, or ikaw, or kayo, magka- mas interesado kayo na um, panoorin. I mean, yeah, mas interesado kayo na panoorin kayo. Mas interesado kayo na kayo ang i-view. Kaysa kayo ang mag-view. So, bakit may bibenta yung sarili mo sa isang vlogger din? Yun yung pinakamaling ginagawa natin lagi. Kaya ako, alam mo, I did my experiment. Ah. Um, pinost ko yung video ko sa mga channels. Ah, YouTube channel. Ah, YouTube, Facebook groups ng mga vloggers. Pero, pag pinost ko ang video ko sa non-YouTube groups, nagkakaroon ako ng mga views. Which is contrary to sa mga, you know, places na pinagpo-postan ko. Diba? So, bakit ko ipopost ang sarili ko sa mga puro YouTuber lang? Na ang gagawin lang naman sa akin is maglalagay ng comment, support tayo, and all this bullshit. Pero, ikaw lang nagsusupport. Ikaw ba you get support? Actually, guys, ito ah, I have a confession. This is the number one reason kung bakit ko in-open yung Filipino vloggers and content creators. Because I want to break that stereotype. Okay? We don't come together to ask support. 
we come together to educate each other and then we support each other. Which is, by the way, um, half of our members are ganon and half of it are like just any other uh, YouTube groups. Na, oh, support tayo, ganyan, ganyan. So, hindi ako na insecure okay, sa mga accounts na nag-grow bigger. Na alam ko kung paano, paano nag-grow. Ako, most of my, I mean, most of my viewers are organic. More than nagsasub. And lahat ng nagsub sa akin through the group, e eh, bigan ko. Like halimbawa, Mikay, um, uh, Mavi. Hindi lang, hindi tayo nag-uusap, you know, for subs and subs. Okay. Exactly. Totoo ka dyan, Mitch. Mas marami ang selfish at madadaya. Yeah. Yeah, maraming mga against sa sub for sub because nagagalit sila. Okay, this is true. Ah. Nagagalit sila dahil nag-sub sila, tapos may nag-sub sa kanila, din nag-unsub. Nag-unsub, that is the game. Eh. That's that's how it goes, eh. Diba? Kung papasub for sub ka, tapos mag, may magsasub sa'yo, tapos ya unsub subscribe ka. Ikaw naman si honest subscriber, so magagalit ka. It, it, totoo siya, eh. I mean, what can we say? Hindi tayo pwedeng magalit sa fact na yun eh. Part na yun nung, part yun nung, nung rule, di ba? So, ang pinaka-solution dyan is para hindi ka magkaroon ng mga unsubscriber. You have to know them eh. You have to befriend them. Kasi, pag naging kaibigan mo sila, nagkakaroon ka ng community yung tinatawag. Kaya nga, there are only very few of us sa account. Bakit? Sa lahat ng nandun, kilala ko silang lahat. I watch them, I I comment on, on their accounts. I, I, I mean, it's not about dahil ako ang admin. Walang admin doon. I just put directions to people. Okay? Even itong mga, you know, live stream na to. This is not for me. This is all for you. I mean, they're, they're part of my day na inaaral ko lahat. Iniintindi ko. Even Mavi, I don't know, Guys, madalas kong kausap si Mavi sa mga sa mga bagay-bagay about the channels, account, how we do this and that and those. So, it's it's really nice to interact with people. Na from the start, I mean, na stranger sila sa umpisa, pero eventually you become friends with them. And then you start, you know, throwing ideas and then you know, applying it. Then, hindi lahat, guys, hindi lahat ng ideas works, would work well for you. Some of the ideas will gonna work, some of the ideas will not. The only thing that is true is, if you try, you know, using them, it will work very well. Whether positive or negative. As long as you try, you have an open mind to try them, then it might work for you. Maybe, yung pa yung naging missing puzzle for you to, you know, skyrocket. Anyway, going back. And guys, so we've talked about Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Pag-usapan natin yung mga hindi ginagamit ng mga YouTuber, which is they should start doing it. We're gonna start with Reddit. We're gonna start with um, Pinterest. And then we're gonna talk about LinkedIn. Unayin natin ng Pinterest. Guys, lahat ng, uh, what do you call that? Uh, lahat ng thumbnails nyo. If you post that in Pinterest, you put your link, it will generate you viewers. I, for one, I, for one, I use it. So, meron akong, meron akong mga thumbnails na ina-upload. I put my link on it. People will gonna view it. Pinterest is all about visual. It's all about pictures. So, wag nyo sayangin yung thumbnail na yun. Make a use of it through Pinterest. So, with Pinterest, again, engagement, guys. Visit din kayo ng ibang account. Click, 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 click. Comment, 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 comment. View, 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 view. And then, people will gonna come and view you. People will gonna come and link, uh, click you. People will gonna come and do business with you. Whether business owner ka or vlogger ka, um, or you're just one of those people who love, you know, looking pictures visually. Yun yung pinaka-magic ng Pinterest. On the top of that, hashtags are gonna be used as well. Okay? Ngayon, with Reddit. Actually, I recently used Reddit 
and I'm having hell of a fun. Okay. Ano, ano ba ang Reddit? Basically, sa Reddit, gagawa ka ng account mo, tapos you join ka sa isang community. Doon sa community na yun, you talk about things. Okay? Alam nyo ba guys, yung mga streaming ko ng games, lahat ng nanonood sa akin doon is mga nagre-Reddit. Okay, okay. Pag, nag-game, pag mag-stream na ako, ipopost ko yung ano ko doon. Then, of course, in a particular, you know, group or community. sabi mo, I'll be, uh, I'll be playing, blah, 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 blah. Here's my link. Drain up mo lang. And then, people will gonna come to you. Alimbo, 600 ang online. May kita mo naman kung yung online sa Reddit eh. On, our, on your particular, on, on a particular community. I-click nila yan, guys. There are times that nag- Nag-stream ako, I had 81 viewers. See? So, sa tingin nyo, bakit ako nagsistream? May iba lang tayo sa nalaya. Guys, streaming is actually good for your channel as well. It will help the number of, you know, watch time. Yeah, it's not bad for you guys to do a bit of streaming. Like, you know, makipagkwentuhan lang kayo sa mga tao, makipag-usap and all. It will gonna boost you. Okay? Later on, bakit ko sinabing it will gonna boost you? Ano ang effect nito para sa inyo? Moving forward. So, by the way guys, if may question kayo about Reddit, hold it later on. I'm gonna be asking you questions. Okay? So, sa Reddit, yun yung ano nyo. Then, meron silang tinatawag na karma. So, whenever you interact, nagiging point siya sa inyo. Whenever you comment on something, whenever you do something, blah, 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 blah. Tandaan nyo guys, meron din kayo makuha ang comment na talaga naman hindi nyo ma... Mm, hindi nyo masikmura. Pero it's okay. Karma pa rin yun. I mean, you get points. They, they call karma points. I, I mean, they call the points karma. So, the more you go bigger, the more it will gonna be better and good for you. Okay? So, you can even post pictures as well. Though. You can even post videos as well. Ngayon, you just have to know the right community that is meant for you. Okay? Like, say, for example, ako, uh, I joined this community about the Philippines. So, we talk about everything, news and blah, 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 pictures. and Not necessarily mga video nyo and stuff like that. Even yung mga photos nyo and then leave a link in there that, you know, people can go and watch it. Ganun sila. Very active ang mga tao sa Reddit. Now, LinkedIn. Um, Usually, LinkedIn, ang pinakamaganda lang na magagawa sa inyo ng LinkedIn. LinkedIn is actually a social media platform for professionals. If you want to nail some advertising gig, some events, LinkedIn is the best spot for you. Bakit? If they know that you're a vlogger and they need somebody to do vlogging for them on that particular event, it's para. Napakadali lang. Okay? Napakadali lang nilang ikaw makita. Dalo na, Kung dun sa title mo is, you'd say, content creator ka, they're gonna check what are the things that you have done. Say, for example, if it's not only photography, it's not only videography, you're a vlogger. By the way, content creator, guys, is not about just, you know, or it's it's not equal to vloggers. Okay, content creator, if you're a writer, like a blogger, uh, if you're a photographer, videographer, um, content writer, and stuff like that, you are a content creator. So, hindi ka lang hindi ka lang vlogger okay you you have different streams na kaya mong gawin apart from vlogging okay so yun yung magagawa sa iyo ng LinkedIn maganda ito kung may business ka but definitely if you are in the in if you are already in the platform of vlogging you are the business ikaw you self promote yourself diba parang sa interview yan pag tinanong ka you always talk about yourself that dito mo gagamitin ngayon ang sarili mo. Doon sa ibang social media platform na sinabi ko sa inyo, you always talk about the people that you're targeting. On this platform, you talk about yourself now. Okay? So, sabihin mo lang kung anong kaya mo, ano yung nagagawa mo. I have new videos, I have new this, blah, 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 blah. Even irrelevant yan. As long as they see that you're a content creator, you're doing something like this, then they could possibly hire you. Okay? Big or small um, companies, yeah. Dito ka nila kukunin. So, actually, mayroon pang isang social media, which is... Uh, 
Ano ba yan? Meron ako nun eh. Ah, Snapchat. Actually, yung Snapchat, guys. No problem, Mitch. No problem. Ang Snapchat, guys, eventually mawawala na. So, um, ano, paano mo ba magagamit ang Snapchat? It's more like self-promotion. Awareness. Yun lang yun, guys. It's, it's not much that, you know, it's not that much na matutulungan ka ng Snapchat. But it's good pa rin that you have Snapchat. Kaya hindi ko na siya gagamitin. I mean, hindi ko na siya i-discuss sa inyo. Usually, ang Snapchat, if you're going to make, you know, um, mga BTS yan. Maganda yan. BTS. If you're gonna be doing BTS, then i-add mo sa Snapchat uh, for your upcoming vlog. It would be very nice to do that. Kasi ang pinakamalaking target market mo sa Snapchat is bata. Mas maraming bata gumagamit ng Snapchat. Kaya I don't use Snapchat a lot. Because I don't want to bore people as much as I already bore everybody who's watching mine. Diba? So, if ang target mo, if if you're a comedy or, or if you're, you know, a uh, skit type of vlogger or travel vlogger, yan, you can use that. Snapchat. But apart from that, there's nothing much it can do for you. Now, moving forward. Uh, wait. Um, do you have any questions about um, social media platforms? Before ako magpunta sa blog. Great. Ikaw, Mavi, any questions? <laughs> yeah, well, later on, we're gonna talk about Reddit. I mean, yung mas ano nang ano na, anong magagawa ng Reddit for you. Now, blog. Okay, hindi naman tayo magtatagal. I, I, I actually have a blog site, which is iamshanwin.com. Pansin niyo guys, ha? Lahat ng social media account ko is iamshanwin except sa uh, Instagram. But there's, you know, Shanwin. Even my, yung domain name ko is iamshanwin. Kasi, you have to be very uniform. Dahil yung hashtag na yun, you will own it one day. Okay? Like, halimbawa, ikaw, Mika Ibanez. So, every single account should be Mika Ibanez. Or, you're gonna be using all, um, use a particular name for your channel. And all throughout your accounts. Same as with you, Purple TV. Um, you'll be doing the same thing. Okay? So, this one, napakadali. Pag sinurch ka sa Google, Purple TV, lalabas lahat ng account mo. ba? Kung halimbawa, ikaw, Mikay Ibanez. Pag tinipe nila yung Mikay Ibanez, and nakikita nila na ma ma marami, people are talking about Mikay Ibanez as a name. Lagi kang lalabas as first top, uh, first top 10 ng Google search. Yun yung nagagawa ng bakit mo gagamitin ang channel name mo all throughout as a hashtag, as as a social media account. Because people, when they start talking about you, um, you are going to be on the top of the list. Say, for example, somebody search for Filipino vloggers in YouTube. So, dahil ginagamit mo yung hashtag na yun, at maingay na ang pangalan mo, automatic lalabas ka sa first top 10. ba? So people, alam niyo guys, ang 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 tao um 60% of the time, first top 10 tinitingnan nila. They don't go to next, 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 next. Hindi na hindi wala nang ganung eksena. So, ito papasok ngayon guys ang blog site. Ano ang meron sa blog site? I'm not encouraging you, neither not discouraging you to have a blog site. Pag may blog site ka, guys. Kung ano yung topic mo today? Okay. Or you can talk about something. Then, yung, yung YouTube video mo, nilagay mo sa blog site. And, ang mga blogger, sila ang may pinakamaraming views. As easy as that. Dahil sa SEO. 
Okay. Actually, just few days of, uh, few days back, um, Purple TV and I was talking about SEO. Okay. Dito na ngayon papasok ang SEO. Remember yung sinabi ko earlier, kung ano yung tag mo, we're gonna be used all, all across. Okay. Karamihan ng tao, this is what they do. Um, this is about what is trending and against what is your passion. Kung ano yung trending, yun yung pinag-uusapan nila. Bakit sa tingin nyo mabilis nag-grow ang mga reaction videos? Dahil kung ano ang trending, yun ang nire-react nila. They are, not gonna, they are not going to react on something that is very old. Dahil hindi naman sila papatsinin. Okay. But then again, um, it is not an overnight sensation. Meron, meron mga tao na na-hit nila yung right words. Kaya madali, ma, nakakuha sila ng magagandang reactions. Okay? That's why there are a lot of people who goes into that. Apart from tawa, reaction videos and uh, reaction beauty. Yan yung mga malalaki. Okay? Ang maganda lang sa reaction video, at cha- by the way, and challenge. Challenge uh, mga pranks. So, I've talked about that before yung mga niche. So, sila yung mga mabibilis mag- mag- mag-grow because um, they go against what is, I mean, they go with the trending. So, whatever is out there na pinag-uusapan ng mga tao, people are reacting to it. And once they react, people will gonna talk about your video. Okay. Which is, you have to be a good, you know, person to react on things. Which I did as well. Mara- Sa totoo lang, most of the things that I do, more experimental yan, guys. Um, yun yung nag-react ako dun sa um, binuli ni Binoy sa PGT. Ang bilis kong dumami ng views. Pero naging stagnant na siya. Like, in 24 hours, nagkaroon ako ng 100 views about that. Diba? Yun, dun, dun lang din. Makakareceive ka ng mga harsh comments. So... Kung ready kayo sa mga harsh, harsh comments, maganda ang mag-reaction vlog. Ngayon, going back. Maraming, maraming vloggers, guys, ang meron silang ka-counterpart na vlog sites. Okay? Nagkipag-ex-deal sila sa mga writers. Like, o oh, sige, gagawa ko ng reaction, then you, you, you post it on your blog, on your article. And then, lahat ng tao, mga, lahat ng mga tao nagbabasa ng vlog na yun, though, definitely they're gonna go check out the link. So, hindi naman siya lumalabas as a link. Lumalabas siya as as what? Lumalabas na siya as a video. So, napiplay agad doon. From there, napiplay agad. Even sa blog site ko, automatic may merong may click mo, may kita mo agad kung ano yung mga bago kong vlog or kung ano meron sa YouTube ko. Nakalink siya. Pero, meron ako sariling page that's all about my vlogs. Nothing more than that. Hindi siya nakalink sa isang article. Okay. I haven't do that, but I'll be doing it. So, and by the way, blog sites heavily use um, uh, keywords. Okay. So, yung mga keywords na yun, okay, are what we know as tags. At saka, ang tag, hindi lang siya word. Kaya nga tawag sa kanya, keyword phrase. So, it could be one whole question or two or three words. Diba? Say, for example, how to grow on YouTube. Okay, guys, ang daming nagsasearch niyan sa internet. Or, um, best wedding photographer in Manila. Best wedding photographer in Makati. Best wedding photographer in Uh, Luzon area. Um, wedding destination avi- uh, venues. Um, ano pa ba? Ma- maraming, maraming kang magagamit, guys. The only thing that you have to do is start asking yourself that question. Kung paano mo ikaw gusto ma-discover. Okay, so say for example, Mikay, um, Pinay vlogger in Makati, Pinay vlogger in ganito, or uh, Lyceum graduate vlogger, or uh, engineer, um, ano pa ba, uh, challenge vloggers. So, yung mga ganong eksena, guys, yun yung gagamitin nyo, keyword phrase. It's asking a question na ang answer is kayo. Diba? 
that is how you use or how that is how you're going to utilize your keywords then it will generate you a result diba <laughs> Wait lang. Ba? Bits, bits. So, yung mga, yung mga ganong eksena, guys. Okay? Huwag kayo mag-alala. Gagawin natin exercise yan. Malamig dito, grabe. Para ako nasa Eskimo. Yun yung, yun yung magagawa sa inyo, guys, ng mga vlog site. Now, let's move sa mga tools. Ito, madali na lang itong mga tools na to eh. Number one na kailangan yung tools is Google. Search window ng Google. Like, halimbawa, uh, Lemon Challenge. So, may kita nyo na kaagad yun. Guys, first five na lumalabas, yun yun yung mga top search. You can use that. You can add that. that. Pangalawa, Tube Body. Um, Tube Body is basically for blog tag words so sa tag words guys it's very important at lagi niyo sinasama ang pangalan ng channel niyo um halimbawa yung last mong ginawa mi kay is uh, calamansi challenge so ilalagay mo yun calamansi challenge tapos ilalagay mo kalim- uh, challenge with friends and never ever forget guys these three magic tag words. One, Filipino vloggers in YouTube or on YouTube. Um, vlogging, vloggers, at uh, always make sure to pick one or two trending topic as gagamitin yung tag words. Okay. May or may not relevant to the video, but it's nice kasi when people search that particular tag name or that particular topic lalabas ang channel mo. Regardless kung merong connection siya doon sa search nila, pero nakikita nila ang video mo, they're gonna click on it. That's what you call clickbait. Diba? Maliban doon sa mga dramang title. So, um, marami tayong mga tag dito. Marami tayong mga ginagamit eh. Like ako, I usually use vidIQ at saka TubeBuddy. Pareho lang sila guys. Meron silang free version at saka meron silang paid version. You can give it a try. I'm going to send you um, that one. And then, sa so Uber Suggest. Uber Suggest is this. Yeah, share natin. Oop. Actually, yung Uber Suggest it will gonna give you a list of YouTube, uh, no, no, tag names, keywords. So, magta-type lang ng topic dyan, or magta-type ka lang ng mga either long, long word keywords, okay, or one or three to two, or mga, say for example, how to be bakla, like, ganun. So, <laughs> magta-type ka lang either a keyword, or keywords, may lalabas na ng mga suggested keywords. Okay. Tapos titingnan nyo guys sa side. Okay. I'm gonna give you one good example. You can give it a try yourself. Okay. So, YouTube English uh, blogger. Look up. Now, guys, if you can actually do it now, like you click on the link and then go for YouTube. So, merong, merong ano dyan eh, um, kung saan mo gusto mong tingnan. Kung gusto mong tingnan yung web, shopping, and all this blah, blah, blah. Guys, this one is very, very helpful. Punta ka sa YouTube, then itype mo lang vlogger. Then from that, makakita ka na ng highly search. Okay, ang titingnan mo lang naman dyan yung keyword at saka yung search volume. Okay, 
So, yung search volume, yun ang i-consider mong gagamitin mo. Gagamit ka ng dalawa. Yung highly search at hindi highly search. Just like now guys, I did that ang lumalabas na ang highly search is <laughs> si Kong TV ba? Hmm. Ang sa akin na ah, ang lumabas is yung wrong spelling ng YouTube. It's Y-U-T-U-B-E. Highly search siya. Tapos, blogger. Hindi, hindi vlogger na ganito. Ito. Ito ang highly search. So, you can use Filipino blogger. Or just blogger. Mga video tags nyo. Okay. And please, don't forget to use channel tags. Okay. So, channel tags, guys. Yun yung mga you know, magiging niche nyo. Like, say, for example, travel, travel, um, food review, reaction, commentary, um, ano pa ba? Uh, how to's. Yan ang mga ilalagay nyo. And never forget, name ng channel nyo, at saka, Filipino vlogger on YouTube. Never, f ever forget that. Because, dun, dun kayo makakuha ng mga views ng tao. Okay. So, ayun. Yun ang mga masishare ko sa inyo. So again guys, let's just make a very, very quick recap. One, use social media accounts as your avenue of sharing your videos. Okay. Use photos, use thumbnails, use the power of, you know, hashtags. That's one. Then, blog sites. Blog sites are very relevant. If you can have a blog site for yourself, that would be great. If not, maging guest blogger kayo sa mga ibang, um, sa ibang bloggers who has their own site. Pero, be very particular on their niche. Kalimbawa, ikaw, um, Mavi, dahil kayo ay merong wedding, um, uh, photography business so you can be a blog guest blogger and then you can talk about um, you know yung mga nagawa nyo na in the past which will gonna help you grow not only your business but your name and your channel so it's your way of selling yourself as well and then um, tools tools will gonna help you not only to see your um, analytics but basically as simple as the right words to use, right, keywords, right, um, uh, what do you call that, right ideas that will gonna boost not only your vlog, but of course, your branding as well, uh, any questions, guys, before I wrap up, Anyway, balikan ko lang Mavi yung sa Reddit. Okay, yung sa Reddit uh, share ko sa iyo yung Do you even use Reddit? There. Of course, of course, very much. You can do collab. Actually, what I can, uh, what I suggest you, alam mo na, lalo na yung may mga face value. Um, 
you, you can do a round of uh what do you call that alam mo i'm i'm working on sa mga tag dito affiliate marketing which will gonna help you as well tayo mga may business um they can they can plug our businesses sa channels nila as uh, and then they get um they get percentage and then yung mga you know yung mga clients nila will gonna t- get discounts naman like at least there we have a window of 20% 10% goes with uh to the vlogger and then 10% discount for the tag dito um to my clients so we're gonna talk about that um in the near future it depends kung if you want to do affiliate marketing for your business anyway sa Reddit naman kasi it's it's like how do I say this para siyang isang forum okay may particular topic sila I mean may particular uh community na magjo-join ka like you can share uh, share it like wedding wedding in Manila wedding planners in Manila Philippines like right now I've been searching for it Philippines alone so dun sa Philippines na yon they have a huge number of uh parang member then they talk about anything about the Philippines you can react to it and all iyon eh pag gumagawa ka ng mga topics doon if nag nag-initiate ka ng topic then people will gonna comment and react to it diba so isa yun sa mga magaganda mong magagawa then meron din Filipino vloggers photographers videographers and all this blah 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 um if you're only after within the Philippines so you have to be very specific so Philippines then every time na nagre-react ka you get this karma thing okay like if meron kang um the the more you react the more you engage the more you socialize your your karma thing will gonna go up hey what's up uh cheeky bolt how are you we're, we're just about to end and we're wrapping up actually we're just having this uh q a but thank you for coming by i'm ah oh, i'm french and French me. Well, I'm actually studying French, but I'm not really good at it. Como ça va? Ça va bien? <laughs> That's how far I can go with my French. Ça va bien? <laughs> Very good. That's good to hear. Bonjour. Yeah. Is it morning? It's already afternoon here. <laughs> Salut. Anyway, guys. Uh, there. I'm actually taking up French classes, but I'm not really good as it is. It. <laughs> as you are. Uh, I hope one day I, I can be as fluent. From Paris. Oh, very good. Probably next year I'll be visiting Paris. We're actually from the Philippines, but I'm based in uh, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, and it's very, very hot in here. It's like, I think it's already 40 degrees Celsius. So you're just like walking in a very, very hot water. But the air conditioning here is very, very cold. So that's why I'm wearing some, you know, to make me a bit warm. Oh, I love the weather. We love the weather there. I do. Wow. Are you are you not coming, Mavi? Oh. Wow. 
Is is he going? Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> oh, okay. It's is it a wedding or an engagement? Indeed, it is. Wow. I mean, it's a, it's a huge thing, you know. Anyway, Dichi, um, we we are about to wrap up because uh, I, I I have other things to do. I would love you to check on Purple TV's channel, and maybe you guys can, you know, um, can say hi, hello, and all this blah blah blah. <laughs> It would be great if you guys can get connected. How about we get connected? Oh. Can I visit her account? Uh, Tichi, merci beaucoup for dropping by. Uh, I wish you a good day as well as Mabi and for everybody who was uh, part of this today. Um... Mikai and uh, Mitch, this is what you call 3M, Tatlong Maria. Thank you very much for staying uh, with me all throughout. I hope you learned something today and uh, looking forward to see that on your channel. Salut. You're most welcome, Abby.